Hi, this is David Dirks, Managing Director of Dirks Outdoors, on behalf of Expert Village. Today we're going to talk about fly fishing basics. The first thing we're going to do is going to talk about choosing a rod. One of the most important fundamentals in fly fishing is making sure you have the right rod fitted to the right fishing mission. Different rods are for different kinds of fish. One of the ways that uh, manufacturers universally do that is by creating what they call a weight, a line weight for each rod. Rods run from one weight to 15 weight, and the way that works is very simple. The lighter the rod, the lower the number. A one weight is the lightest rod you can buy. That would be for very, very small, lightweight uh, uh, flies, uh, midges, the things that you'd use for very, very um, delicate kind of fishing. Up to the 15 weight, which you know, you're talking about sailfish, um, large tarpon, uh, things like that. So you've got a lot of different variety in terms of rod selection uh, when you start to look at rods. If you're just starting out in fly fishing, what you're going to find generally is that a good six or seven weighted rod is going to be a good all-around rod for most fly fishing that you're going to find yourself doing around the country. Um, the other thing that's important too is probably somewhere between an eight foot and a nine foot rod length is about what you'll find will handle most any uh, fly fishing situation you could find yourself in. Rods are built in sections. You'll find standard uh, fly rods are built in two sections. Um, however, for those that like to travel to their destinations and pack smaller uh, rod cases, a three or a four piece rod would probably be very, very appropriate. Let's talk about reels. One of the things fundamentally about a reel is that you want to make sure that it's balanced and it's sized for the weighted line you're going to purchase. If you're buying, a, let's say for example, a six or a seven weight uh, rod with six or seven weight line, make sure that the reel that you purchase is able to handle that. If you buy a beginner package, you don't have to worry about that because the manufacturers make sure that it's the right size reel to fit the rod that you're looking to, to use. Another recommendation I have for reels is make sure that your reel comes with or is loaded first before the fly line is on with some kind of backing. Backing is important because if you get a really large fish, if that should happen, um, they can take you right down to your line, take all your line out, and if you only loaded your line in, you'd have nothing to fight the fish. Backing allows you to fight the fish even after they strip a lot of your fly line off. Backing comes in as braided nylon or as Dacron. The last recommendation I have on reels is make sure that you take care of your reel. That means basically just simply cleaning the reel at the end of every season, oiling it up, and following the manufacturer's directions for care.